Do you want to make your truck faster? Do you want to add off-road credibility? Then look no further than hood pins. Functional and they add horsepower. Just kidding, they don't really add horsepower, but they are very functional, especially like me if you have beat on your truck for years and the body's not really as straight as it could be anymore. This is an entirely new front clip on the truck, but it's a little, the panel gaps are a little off. So I did put some hood pins on here. I've been running with just the center latch for about a month now. And while it's been fine, it does get a little floaty. And I'm not a big fan of seeing the hood floating when I'm on the freeway. So I ordered up these Mr. Gasket hood pins, mounted them up and I'm really happy with how they've come out. They look clean. They're holding the hood down really well. And let's just be honest, they make it look like a race truck. So I'll show you guys how I put them on and I'll link down below to the parts I used. Merrick's Garage. Here's the essentials of the kit. These two posts obviously mount off the core support. This goes through the hole right there. And those just hold me down on the hood. I was gonna go ahead and try and use this uh, spot where the bumper goes in. Here it is over on the other side. Because it's an already pre-drilled hole, but that is not gonna work. Because it's threaded or it's got one top thread, this is gonna end up angled, which is not what I want. So we had to go right here. So I'm gonna center punch and then I'm gonna step drill and then I'll finish it up with the, uh, what I guess is probably gonna be a half inch bit. I went ahead and switched up the placement a little bit because I wanna make sure I've got enough meat on the hood. And it happens to meet right there, which is perfect. So that's why I have dropped it down to this position instead of being where it was. I'm also hoping to get it perfectly lined up. So here is the next part to do. Drill through my brand new hood. Now it feels like a race truck. Time to do the other side. I did end up having to window to get this bolt in. From the side, you can see that it really sucks down the hood. But the best part is it sucks it down, but it's all equal across the front now. Now remember, this is a whole front clip of a donor vehicle. But that donor vehicle was 30 years old, so it's got a little bit of uh, dents and bangs with it too. The pins went in really well. There's just a little bit of fine tuning when you're putting them on. But that looks good. Maybe I can lower this one a hair. Uh, I'll show you how I can do that in a second. But once I finish the wrap, I think this is going to disappear pretty well. And this panel gap is... That's, that's pretty good. I'm stoked. What is nice about these guys is you can adjust the height using the uh, set nut and the lock nut down below. Now, I've dropped some uh, Loctite in there to lock these down, but... You saw how long the post was and it can go up as high as it needs to go or as low as it needs to go. So while the hood latch is sufficient, this is about how it sits without the pins engaged. And uh, it does this, which does, it does make me a little nervous when I'm on the freeway. I'm pretty confident that this latch is gonna hold. But for those of you who are wondering, you're gonna use both at the same time. This is essentially for me, helping with the panel gap, tying the front end together, and really securing it down. Got a little bit of cleanup left to do on these guys, but nice strong point in the core support for them to be mounted. And the hood goes through a decently strong section without any waves or offsets. For those of you considering doing this to your own truck, this is exactly where I put the hood posts. 
they do add some trail credibility. So throw some on your rig, get out there, put them to use, and make sure to give me a like, a subscribe, drop me a comment, and check out some of these other videos. I've got a bunch of how-tos and tech tips. We'll see you soon, Merrick's Garage.